today because of Jesus we are free we are free as a church of God we are free we are free indeed bless be the name of Jesus and that is why we are going to sing today Jesus keep me near the cross near a precious fountain free that is free to all the healing stream and it flows on Calvary's mountain in the cross in the cross be my glory ever hallelujah till our raptured soul rest rest beyond the river are you anticipating that rest praise the name of Jesus I want to greet each and every one here today and those that are online our bishop and his wife and the many that are online listening to us today I want to greet you in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ and I pray that as we worship today you will put your heart and your soul in it and you will worship with us so that you can be filled praise God with the fool of God hallelujah can you all stand with me Jesus keep me near the cross and minister bird will lead us into the consecration prayer and as we go along the service today as it got, gets to the point of our communion, I'm going to ask our bishop folks to officiate over the communion. Praise God. Bless his wonderful name. But today, right now, we are going to sing, Jesus keep me near the cross. I would like each and every one of us to sing today. Praise God. Bless his wonderful name. I know singing under the mask is kind of difficult. But we are going to do it anyway. We are praising the Lord. And if we should drop right now, praise the name of Jesus, we want to find a resting place. The place of rest. That's why we are here, to lift up the name of Jesus. Praise his wonderful name. Jesus keep me
the cross, O Lamb of God. Bear the cross, O Lamb of God.
can make it another day, a day's journey. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you, O oh God, and as we come, Lord, in this session, consecrating, reconsecrating our lives, rededicating ourselves before you. Father, your words declares, God, without holiness, no man shall see God. And so, Lord, we come this morning asking you, Lord, repenting, oh God, our hearts bending, Lord, on our knees this morning, repenting of the sins that we have done, known and unknownly, Lord. We are asking that you would cleanse us from all unrighteousness, all filthiness of the flesh and of the mind. Almighty God in heaven, we are asking you to cleanse us this morning. We are asking you, Lord, that you would fill us up, almighty God, and make us, Lord, into that which you want us to be. We are on your work table this morning, God. We are at the potter's house this morning. Almighty God, we are marred, and oh, we are scarred. And almighty God, but this morning here we are at your footstool. Here we are at the potter's table. Here we are, mighty God, needed to be molded by you. Needed, almighty God in heaven, to be shaped, and Lord God, to be like you. To have the, start having the characteristics of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And so we ask you as we come, Father, we ask that you will forgive us and you will cleanse us. And you will make us, Lord, into that vessel of honor for you. Continue to bless us this morning. Lord, take the service out of our hands. For Lord, of ourselves, we can do nothing. God, we are just failures before you. But all oh, thanks be unto God. We can do all things this morning through you who strengthens us. And so, Lord, we are depending on you for that strength. We are depending on you, Lord, for that leading. Holy Spirit, we depend on you for divine wisdom and your revelation. Almighty oh, God, your words come forth with power. Almighty oh, God, that we will be builded up in you. Lord, we will be strengthened in you. We would be, we would be able to go out, God, and be successful. We will be able to go out, mighty God, and be strong in you and in the power of your might. We pray that you would continue to lead us on. Bless our pastor this morning. Father, we ask that you would cover him under the blood. We ask that, Lord God, you'll give him a fresh anointing in the name of Jesus. Father, we know it's only the anointing can destroy and break and destroy the yoke. And so we ask you for that special anointing today. We ask you, Holy Spirit, that you would move through this congregation today. Lord, those are in line that are listening. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would be active today. Be the, the active agent in our midst today, Lord, as we worship you in spirit and in truth. We ask you, Holy Father in heaven, to have your way and do for us exceeding abundantly above all that we might ever ask, Lord, or even think of you, Father, because of the power that now worketh within us. We thank you again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. We bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, praise you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise God. You know I'm going to ask you to worship God. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. We bless you. Praise the Lord. Precious name. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's excellent in all his ways. Praise God. And you know something about God 
He never fails us yet. No. Praise God. Yes. Even when we walk away, yes. praise God, He has never, never ever failed, failed us. Praise God. And so for that reason, man, we ought to praise the Lord. We ought to give him some glory. We ought to lift up the name of Jesus. Oh, we thank the Lord. You are great. Praise his name. We are going to do a few songs. And the moderator is going to take her stand. Praise God. Praise his wonderful name. Praise God. But I want you to help me sing because, you know, last Monday I... In that heavy rain, praise God, I got wet, you know, and um, I found I was losing my voice at work, praise God, I just started to get some tingling in the throat, and when I came home, when I went home, I was so, I was so sick, began coughing and everything, you know, and then I had to use some home remedy. Praise God. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. And it helped me a bit with prayer. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. I told mother about it and she gave me good encouragement. Praise God. I know she prayed also. But blessed be the name of Jesus. Take care of yourself. It is getting cold. Wrap yourself up. And don't go without wearing your mask. I'm telling you. It's getting serious in New York. And I'm asking you, please, please, wherever you go, wear your mask. Keep them on. Wash your hands. Sanitize your hands. Praise the name of Jesus. And keep your distance. Bless. The name of Jesus. We are Christians. We are not cowards. We are no cowards. But we have to display the wisdom that God has given unto us. Praise God. They are closing down churches again. Praise the Lord. But here we are in our little corner. Let us do what we are supposed to do. Praise the name of the Lord. I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance. To the Lamb. To the Not to man. Not to the virus. But to the Lamb. Praise his wonderful name. So we're going to move forward, church. I pledge Allegiance to with all my strength, with all I am, please come
to hear Daniel say, I'm pledging allegiance to the Lord. To hear Joseph say, he was pledging allegiance to the Lord. To hear Joshua say he was pledging allegiance to the Lord. Are we saying the same thing today? Are we pledging our we have a main of heart that we are pledging allegiance to the Lord God of all? We cannot just sing and say we are pledging allegiance to the Lord with all of our strength, with a heart that is made up that we are going all the way to Jesus, regardless of the circumstances that surround us. We are pledging allegiance to the Lord. Oh yes, we know. Hallelujah. 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 
I am inviting you all to please stand. And if you if you have a hymnal, this melodies of praise, I'm asking you, praise God, to turn that melodies of praise to him one, I think it's him one four and six. Praise God until our deacon puts it on the monitor. It says, Hold the court, for I am coming. Praise God. And today we are going to try to sing in our mass. Praise God. We're going to try to do the best we can in our mass. Praise God. Because it is for our good. We talk about wisdom, so we have to exercise the wisdom that God has given us. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. It says, oh, oh, my, oh my comrades, see the signal waving in the sky. Reinforcement now appearing. Victory is nigh. Hold the fort, for I am coming. Jesus signals still. Wave the answer back to heaven. By God's grace, we will. Praise God. Number please. One, four, six. Oh, my comrades, see the signal waving in the sky. Reinforcement now appearing, victory is mine. Oh, for for I am Oh, my God. 
We thank you, God, for our life that you'll say to us to see this day, a day that you have made in the word of faith, that we should rejoice and be glad in this day. We thank you, God, as we slept last night, God, you see fit to preserve our lives. And we have so much to be thankful for. So this moment in time, we cease to say thank you. We thank you, God, for your faithfulness towards us. God. Even at times we are so unfaithful. We are so reckless. And but this morning, God, we take this moment and say, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, God, for your faithfulness towards us, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for putting up your soul, God. And we come this morning to magnify your name. We come, Lord, to say hallelujah. We say that there's none like you in all the earth, oh God. And we thank you this morning, Lord, that you call us to redeem. We thank you, oh God. We thank you. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God that was slain before the foundation of this world. Father, we come for you as a people that you have called out, called out of darkness into the marvelous light. And so many would have loved to be here in this moment in our for some reason or the other than I feel that. But we pray that the mercies of God, which are new morning by morning, Lord, should be extended toward them, O oh God. Lord, remember our children, remember our neighbors, remember our friends, loved ones, the whole world, O oh God. So many are with the covering of the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord, that we pray, oh God, that your spirit will convert them that day too long. We come to know that they have a to be glorified and our soul will be prayed. Oh God, we pray this one for faith, temple of bread, for those who are here and those who are not. And all the prayers who are under the and line with us, oh God, we have a on his wife and his family. Father, we pray for your Bless us upon your people today. We pray for our nation that's in trouble. We pray for leadership. Oh, God, we pray for mercy. Oh, oh, Lord, the people that we have this morning, oh God. We ask you, God, for mercy upon this land, oh God. Keep us in the spirit of what we have in the poor and all that. In all that we'll do, that we'll continue, Lord, to look to you. In all that we finish up our faith. Oh, God, we pray for pastors, spend the pastors, spend. And all the virgin of faith temple leadership, oh God, that you are in the burden of me, you know that in the time, oh God, that we see that you are so far away, God. I pray that you remind me that you are not a friend, that you are not a brother, you are not a man, and that you should die. Neither are you the son of man, that you should repent. You promise that you will never leave us, not but save us, oh God. Oh, let your mercy fall fresh today, God. As we honor you, oh God, you are welcome in this place today, oh God. Let the Spirit revive us one more time, oh God. Let there be a post for and the Holy Spirit upon this place today. Oh God, we pray for this community. Oh God, be merciful, be merciful, oh God. Let oh, yeah, yeah. the rain come down with the just on the end, oh God. We say we thank you, God. In this moment, God, we say we love you. We appreciate your blessings. We appreciate the faithfulness of the us, God. And we pray, oh God, that you can our own in this place like never before. Cover us, oh God, and all that we know in our own and our own. Oh God, we know that the power of God and take it to God. We plead the blood of Jesus over us. We plead the blood of Jesus over us. We plead the blood of Jesus over us. Oh, God, we know that 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 we know Come in, Lord, and bloody, oh God, and we pray to us the words of Saint Jesus. Have your way among us and in us today, oh God. Again, Lord, we thank you, oh God, for the shed blood of the cross. You are a king, and there's not a king like you in all the earth. We can serve your soul, oh God, and we can find any like you. And we welcome you to our midst today. Have your way, have your way in this place today. You are more than welcome. Have your way today. We pray to your money for today. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, we thank you. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Praise God. Praise the Lord. And just to remind you that the church's mailing address, the mailing address for Faith Temple Church of God is P.O. Box 120435, St. Albans, New York, 11412. The church's cash app is Faith Temple CH dot of God at gmail.com. And we thank you for sending in your tithes and your offerings. We do appreciate your giving. We appreciate you. And God appreciate, God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Our Christmas program that we normally have, we are without the children this year. We are not complaining, we're giving God thanks. Praise God, we're giving God thanks. Praise God. And so, we the adults are here. We have Montez, we have Ashanti. She's not here today, she's going to work. Please pray for her, pray her strength in the Lord. Praise God, and the brethren that we are not seeing, let us pray for them. Let us pray for our missionary Hemings. Affectionately called Sister Brenda. Praise God. Sometimes she's not feeling so well, as she explained to me. Just pray for our brethren. Pray one for another. Oh, yes. Praise God. And pray for Sister Sam. Praise God. On December 20th, that is the Sunday before Christmas. Is it? Praise God. Is that what we consider Christmas Sunday? Yes. Yes. All right. So I believe the Sunday prior to the 20th, we're going to have our Christmas gift exchange. Brethren, we have to keep pushing. You know, we have to keep pushing. We have to fellowship in so many different ways. Praise God. And so everybody is on board and is looking, and are, is looking forward to the Christmas gift exchange. Praise God. Our bishop and minister all the way over yonder, all the way in Atlanta, Georgia, they are participating in the Christmas gift exchange. Praise God. So we just bless God and we are looking to that end. Praise God. I believe by now, everybody except Mother Maxwell knows who they're exchanging gift with. Our pastor will tell us more about it. Praise God. How the shape of the service, the shape the service will take. So brethren, this is, looks like a pause, but we have to remind ourselves of the events that are coming up. So brethren, God bless you as you bear these notices in mind. Praise God. And if you have suggestions as to how we can keep the fire glowing, going, or we can get the sparks flying. Praise God. Your suggestions are welcome. God bless you. Sister Johnson, it's good to see you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name. Praise the name. God bless you richly. Praise God. We are going to be singing now as we look towards collecting our days, tithes, and offering. Praise, Praise God. God. And, and so, so we are going to sing the first Noel. Is am I right? Let me see. No. Heart the Herald Angels sing. That's the song we are going to sing. Praise God. And so it is 312 in the melodies of praise. And we can use the books until our deacon gets it on the monitor. Hard the herald angels sing. And praise God. And while we're going to be collecting the day's tithes and offering, praise God. Now we are asking our sister Hans, sister Samantha, to please praise God. Thank you, Pastor. Praise God. To please lift the day's tithes and offering. Praise God for us. So she will stand in front, Sister Hines, and you follow the arrows as you come up. Praise God. And you follow the arrows to go down. But before our Sister Samantha collects the offering, 
We're asking our dear Sister Osborne, our worshiper, to so give God the thanks. So please, Sister Osborne, praise God. Please come on up. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. After we sing, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise God. Praise God. Father, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity, oh God, and this privilege that you grant unto us, God, that we as brethren could come together to worship you, to praise you, and to glorify you. Father God, here we are this afternoon, God, lifting our offering as a sacrifice of praise unto you. Father God, as we lift our hearts in the way of us today, oh God. Father, we just want to thank you, oh God, for the opportunity, God, that you have granted to us. Oh God, that we can come into your house, oh God, to give back unto you, oh God, what, what you bless us with, almighty God. Father God, I thank you this morning for every man that lift the offering before you, God. And Father God, as it is lifted for you, God, I pray, God, that you will multiply it, Almighty God, that it will further the works for your kingdom. Bless every hands today, oh God. Oh God, I pray, God, that you will increase, oh God, into their life, oh God. Almighty God, for those who do not have to give today, Father, I know, God, that you are a winemaker, and God, you are our provider, mighty God. And I know, God, as you provide for us who have to give, that you too, God, will provide for those, oh God, who want to give, God, but do not have the opportunity to give. God, you are a door opener, God, and I pray, God, that you will open up doors for them. My God, that once they, God, they too can give back unto you, God, what you have given unto them. Bless us, God. Bless the rest of the service today in Jesus' mighty name. And I say thanks. Amen. 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 Let us put our hands together. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, Pastor, please read the song for me. Heart the Herald Angels sing. Praise God. Jesus. 
So I am going to praise God, be leaving the podium, praise God. But I just thank you, brethren. Thank you, friends, for joining in worship today. Thank you, praise God. And the Lord is still in control. He's still, his presence is still here. We are still following his leading, praise God. But at this time, I must hand over to the shepherd of this house. To our pastor Spence, praise God, who is going to break the bread unto us today. The bread of life, praise God. And so, praise God, I am just going to hand over the microphone to our pastor Spence. But before I do, I am going to ask our pastor Brian, the man of God, to breathe a word of prayer oh, over all the pastor's heads. God bless you, sir. Praise God. You're going to pray. Praise God. That's all right. The program is subjected to change. Subject to change because it's God's program. It's not our program. Our pastor Brian is going to pray, but there is a shift. Praise God. And so I am going to hand over the microphone to our pastor in care of the Holy Ghost. Please come with me, brethren, and just clap your hands. Clap your hands. Praise the name of Jesus. As if they're new, we just get them and we're trying them out. Clap your hands unto the Lord. Clap your hands unto the Lord. Praise God. He's deserving of your praise. And I'm asking everyone to please stand everywhere in reverence to God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise him. Yes, God. I'm just going to ask everyone in the sound of my voice just to raise your right hand towards the pastor. Oh, yes, Jesus. He's our leader. He's our shepherd. And so I'm going to anoint you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We stand in the word, Father. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we yes. summon yes. healing. Hallelujah. By the power of your word. The anointing. The anointing breaks. The yoke. The anointing breaks. The yoke. It destroys the yoke. So in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. the kingdom of heaven suffer violence, and the violence we take it by force. I will take the word of Jesus, literally, I will say you are healed. By your stripes, your word tells that we are healed. And so Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lift up your man servant before you pass the fence. And so God, we come this morning because of the access that you have granted unto us. And we stand on every word, every promise that you have given unto us in the scriptures. And we bind up this sickness now in the name of Jesus. We curse the very root of this sickness right now. And we take authority in the name of Jesus. And we plead the blood of Jesus against sickness in his throat. And we take authority once again and say, by your stripes. By your stripes. By your stripes. By your stripes. Easy. Well, we give you praise for now. Yes, Lord. For what you already have granted. We praise and we thank you now. In Jesus' name. Church, give you praise.
Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And be blessed as one of you. Praise God. He's a mighty God. Reigning over us from his throne on high. Praise his wonderful name. I'm not going to delay the service any longer. Praise God. The preacher will be coming to break the bread of life. Praise God. Praise his wonderful name. Praise God. Praise him. Praise him. Praise God. Praise God. We have a way to go because our communion is here to be taken. Praise God. So today I'm going to ask Pastor Brian to step to the podium. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. He's going to be coming to bring you the word of God from the throne of heaven. Praise God. We are here on the business of the Lord. And so, Pastor Brian, praise God. Speak, just tell the Lord. Of course, God bless you. First time in Jesus' name. Sunday, so the mm -hmm. ticket is strange. It's a little strange. So Pastor Spencer asked me, but somehow I think he got a little mixed up with the dates and the Sunday. So when I came in, he said something to me. So I said, I am ready. I came ready, not only wear my black and white, but I'm a kind of person, you know, you, you know, I, when someone, you know, give you something or an assignment, I mean, rest assured, unless something happens, then I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you know. But I came prepared to preach. Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord. Amen. We don't have to tell me that answer any twice. Once I give you my word, it's done. And unless something happens, I stand behind my word. Amen. If you don't mind, I'll quickly turn to the first chapter. Mr. Birch, he almost at least preached the message today. Luke chapter 1. Let me truly give honor to God who set up my life to our bishop and his wife to uh, my pastor, Pastor Spence, and my Spence, the minister, Bird, Deacon Bird. And of course, to my wonderful wife, Sharon, to all the brethren, those who are here and those who are online, I want to welcome you to Faith Temple Church, and we appreciate you taking the time to be here, and I believe that God has a word for all of us on today. Luke chapter 1, reading from verse 26 to verse number 28.
And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin exposed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly, highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. And he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then sent Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. And the power of the eyes shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that only thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she had also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Let me say it again. For with God nothing shall be impossible. Last verse. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be unto me according to thy word. Can we say that again? Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Thank you, see. I'm very conscious of the time and I know we're going to be doing this. So I promise you I won't keep you too long. One of the greatest events that ever occurred in human history. It's not in 1969, July 20th, when Neil Armstrong was the first person who landed on the moon, was not. No. And that was an incredible moment at that time in 1969. There is the greatest miracle or event that ever occurred in the life of all humanity. It's when the third person of the triune God descended from heaven and climbed into the womb of a virgin named Mary. Seven hundred years before this miracle occurred, the prophet Isaiah prophesied in the seventh chapter of the fourteenth verse. He said, "And a virgin shall conceive, and have a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel." He also recorded in the scriptures, "Unto us a child is born." Unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called Wonderful. His name shall be called Counselor. His name shall be called Mighty God. His name shall be called Everlasting Father. It was pre-recorded prior to this event. Yes. Micah talks about the ruler out of Bethlehem that would rule over Israel. Yes. I'll give you my subject momentarily. I gave you another subject and I sat there and just before I got out, favor is in the house. Mm. Favor is in the house. Oh my goodness. And so the angel Gabriel came to Mary, specifically in this place called Nazareth. Nazareth is, is a poor community. It's almost like a, a ghetto place. In fact, Nathaniel, when he was told that Jesus was coming, he said, can any good thing come from Nazareth? Just to give you a, a, a picture of Nazareth. He was not placed by Beverly Hills. 
It was, it was, it was a run down community. But at the same time, God was looking at Mary in, in a bad neighborhood. And Mary found favor from God in a bad place. Yes, sir. Can I preach the text? The angel was sent from God to Mary in Nazareth. Nothing good not supposed to come from Nazareth. Meaning that not even God supposed to be in Nazareth. God is in faith temple, man of God. Amen. Amen. Mr. Bird, God is in faith temple church. Mm. So when the angel comes to Mary on the days of dialogue, there's a, there's a conversation. No, this is a Mary recognizes that she's talking to an angel. You know? Sometimes we be hearing a word from God. I don't know what Mary could have said. Who is this friend maybe trying to do to look me? Maybe he's trying to look at her friend, but Mary recognized that she's speaking to an angel. Mm. Yes, she did. Mm. Not bad community. Gabriel showed up, Minister Burden, having a conversation and let you know that she has found favor from God. Evangelist Spence. Mary, based on the time. Was a young teenager. Yes, a young woman. Mm -hmm. But I believe that Mary was exposed to the prophetic sayings of Isaiah and Micah because we know that Israel was looking for their king. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They were looking for the Messiah yeah. that would come and take them all that the, the, the Roman rule. Right. So I believe that Mary was exposed to the writings of Isaiah specifically. So when the angel came and told her that you found favor with God, you can come see and, 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 and have this, this child. Mary was not reluctant to receive the word because she said, let it be unto me according to your word. Mary did not went to Joseph to validate the word of God. No, no, no. She accepted it. Mary is engaged to be married to Joseph. Yes. Uh -huh. God showed up and said, I'm giving you favor. Mm -hmm. Mary did not say, hold on, let me go and run this by my, my, my husband to me. No. Sometimes when God gives the church, when God gives you a word, you don't need to run it by. Well, we'll in trouble with this one. That's all right. Can I preach in the church? Yes. Mary is engaged as a sex. Yes, the angel showed up and gave her a word. Mm -hmm. Mary did not run it by Joseph. Mm. The angel said, let me confirm it. Your cousin Elizabeth, mm. who lives in the country, mm -hmm. in the mountain hills of Judea, she is six months pregnant. Mary said, you know what? No problem. I'm going to check it out. Sister spent the Bible said that Mary went there. Yes, she wanted to make sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe long time she didn't see her cousin Lizzie. Yeah, so she yeah. went to Judea. And yeah. Lizzie was buried. And I uh, know nothing don't say to Joseph yeah. yet, you know. She don't say nothing to Joseph yet. But she's going to validate what the angel said. Just to want to make sure. Let, let's just paraphrase. She wanted to make sure. So she went to this place. And when she went to Cousin Lizzie's house, mm -hmm. the Bible said that the baby in her womb left. Oh, Talking about John the Baptist. Yes. When she went to this apartment in this hill country in Jamaica, you know, we talk about countryman. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know how she got to Jamaica, but, but she went to some terrain to, 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 to have gotten there. Look at Cousin Lizzie. And she went to look for Lizzie. Yes. And they're having a conversation. Keep in mind that Elizabeth was barren. Was barren. Yes. Because even when the angel Gabriel went to Zachariah. Zachariah. Mm -hmm. Zachariah, the priest, had some problem, you know. Yes, and the angel said, You know something? I'm going, I'm going down you. Yes. 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 Sometimes. God has to dumb some of us. 
Because we don't believe his word. Notice the text in the 37 verse. He says, with God all things are possible. Now keep in mind that Elizabeth was barren, you know, she was old. And obviously they were praying for a long time that they wanted to have a child. Because in those days, woman, you couldn't get pregnant. People looked down on you, man. Yeah. It, didn't, it wouldn't work anything of status or value. True. And so Mary wanted, I believe, to make sure that what the angel is saying, True. it's really go like that. Yeah. Because sometimes you really want to make sure, you know. You, you, you know, when we are people, so she wanted to make sure, or maybe she just wanted to see her cousin. Maybe it had been a long time. But regardless of the fact that when she got the word, she said, Be it unto me according to your word. Wonderful Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Don't look at yourself as someone so insignificant. Why did God see Mary in a messed up? Community. Mary was living a life that brings glory to God. Yes, I believe that Mary was a poor young lady. Yeah. But Mary had a heart. She kept herself pure. Remember, she was a virgin. You know? yeah. And so while she's going back and forth to school or whatever she's doing, going to the, 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 the pool or whatever to catch water, God was, was, was watching her. He had five said, God is with you. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Maybe all she had was a, 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 a grammar education. But when God showed up, she recognized the angel. And she said, Be it unto me according to thy word. Sometimes we take the word of God too, too lightly, man. Because we don't see ourselves look like what the word is saying. Because Zachariah, even though he was a priest, Mr. Hasburn, when, 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 and, and he's carrying on his back to bend incense in the church. Jesus. And when the angel is telling him, why would the angel do it? Sometimes we get a little card away with title and all. Mary did not have no title, but Zachariah had a title. And yet! He was doubtful. Mary said, Speak unto me according to thy word. The same angel went to the man of God and he was doubtful. And the angel dumb him. Oh my God. Make sure God don't dumb you, you know. Sometimes we, 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 we put a limit on ourselves, you know. We put a limit on ourselves because I don't see myself in a certain situation. And so we limit God because I don't believe that I can really see where I'm at. She was in Nazareth. Even Nathaniel, the disciple, said nothing good can come from Nazareth. And he was called a disciple. Mary went and they're having a conversation. I just can't just understand. It just sort of mirror the conversation these two women that are having. Because, because Elizabeth is telling her, look at me. Look at me skin or oh, oh, it shrivel up. And well, yes, still I'm pregnant. And Mary said, you don't know what i Guess what? The angel come to me and tell me, me why I'm pregnant. Yeah. And them having a conversation. And the Bible said that the pyramid left in Auntie Lizzie's womb. Yeah. And said, yes, it is so. I came to confirm the word of God today. I came today to confirm a word in your life. I'm going to prove it to you. Mm. Imagine the sense. Listen, she spent three months in Judea. When she came back, Mary's pregnant three months. No, go to Matthew chapter 1. The Bible says, Joseph. Joseph. No, can I say something? No, if that was me, you know. If that was me. The chip out down. 
Let me preach the man. <laughs> this is a very, if that was me, as much as I love Sister Sharon, we're going to put her out enough. Imagine when you're so ungrateful. You would tell me that you're going to look for your Auntie Lizzie in the country. And imagine you go there and you couldn't wait. You come wait. You jump ship. I don't know what that man have over me. Meet me in here to you and you come back here. And as you're three months pregnant, the Bible said that Joseph is thinking about how to get rid of Mary. Mary did not tell Joseph what the angel told her. But when she came back, she didn't have to tell him anything. He saw that she was three months pregnant. No, can just imagine. Let's, let's just have, have a simple philosophical conversation for a second. Can you imagine what Joseph is thinking? She left for three months, you know. She's a virgin. All my relatives is making arrangements. They're buying clothes. They're getting all the cattle together. They're getting in the place where they don't have all this formal get together. What am I going to say to my parents? Hmm. About this, 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 this Mary who who been caught in for a long time, and she went to Judea in in, in, in a country bush place, and found a beautiful man, uh, and lay herself so careless, and come back and tell me that she is three months pregnant. Mm -hmm. You have a problem? Yes, sir. He says here in Matthew chapter one verse nineteen, uh -huh. he says, and "Then Joseph, you know, her husband, being a just man, called him Joseph, you know." He's, he's from the lineage of David. Yeah. I won't tell you to talk about it. I'm not, I'm, I'm mine's not the back. He said, then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. In other words, give him a, him a conscience. Yeah. As, as much as he upset, he said, I, I don't want to make her a public figure because they probably would have stolen her enough. Yeah, yeah. He because she's married. Even though she, she, she's not really 100% married, she's 50%. That means she's legally married to Joseph. Yeah. That's why he stole her for yeah. adultery. So I say, no, I don't want that to come to her because they really love her. You know? All right. He says, but while he thought on these things, oh while he's thinking about to put away Mary privately to the back door, so, so, so the people in Nazareth right don't know. You know, you know what the embarrassment from her. The Bible says, while he is thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son. And you, Joseph, shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be the child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted, God is with us. Look at 24 verse. Say, then Joseph got himself together, raised from his sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife. Hallelujah. So now Joseph and Mary is on the same page. Because now he's certain that there's no infidelity. He realized now that this thing is real. So now I can see him get up in the man and making sure. I love to wipe down my car, you know. I can see him making sure. Well, I just step going down the stairs, Mary. Yeah. Be careful. We can't afford to abort this thing. Oh. I can just imagine Joseph now is making sure when she's going to the doctor. Maybe in the first trimester, he say, you know what? You come with me and the doctor, man. Let me take my time. Because he understands this thing that she's carrying on. He's the Holy Ghost. Church, you must understand what you're carrying inside of you is the Holy Ghost. Must be minded of what you're carrying. The Holy Ghost you're carrying. 
feel. Lo and behold, she don't know that God had a plan and purpose for her life. God is working on the heart of Boaz. And Boaz is inquiring about Ruth. Ruth does not know that. God is working on the supervisor at the job. He's turning some things around in your favor. He sees your prayers. He sees the sleepless nights. He sees the heartache. He sees his word in you. And God is obligated to bring it to pass. Favor is in the house. Amen. Ruth has no covenant with the God of Israel. No. She is all a covenant. That's right. Outcast. She's an outcast. Okay. And even though she's outcast, God desired to use Ruth. Yes, sir. In a messed up place. Yes, yes she's from Moab. Yes. She's a Moabite. Yes. And if God can favor Ruth, yes, certainly Pastor Ben God can favor you and I. Yes. And so I stand behind this sacred desk. My name is not Gabriel, but I stand here as a messenger that favor is in this house. Amen. That's God forevermore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Favor is in this house. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so Mary came back to Nazareth uh -huh. because she said, Be unto me according to thy word. Hallelujah. And so when you look at even the writings of Proverbs in the third chapter, it says, Bind my word around your neck. Yeah. Keep my word close yeah. as much as you possible can. Mm -hmm. So shall you find favor and good understanding in the sight of man and in the sight of God. Church, I want you to hear me today. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about Amen. the favor of God is in this house. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mary was not a priest. No. Ruth was not a Jewish girl. No. But yet God predestined mm -hmm. and granted her favor. Yes. Boaz could not help himself. Mm -mm. Somehow he was just attracted to Ruth. Yeah. And at the same time, we realized that he was doing some, 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 some in prayer over her. But I don't know when that, oh, this is the one that said it. Yes. 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 God is right now right. Mm -hmm. making favor to come to your house in Nazareth. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Receive it. I don't want to do much shouting because I'm not with my mask. But, yeah. but I'm trying to hold myself. I'm talking about fail. Yeah. 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 In the fourth chapter of the book of Esther, I'm, I'm going in the fast. Mm -hmm. Esther was in the king's court with all these pretty girls. Yes, and she got a little complacent woman of God. Yes. That, that Mordecai had to remind her the reason why she's there. Yeah. He said, you have called to the kingdom for such a time. I said, why are you so complacent? Mm. Sometimes we have some complacent folks. Yes. Because sometimes when things is not happening in your life. Yes. We get a little complacent. We get a little relaxed because because this is not happening. Lisa, that was barring us. She was all alone, right. and that's when God desired to show up. Sure. Even when Sarah got pregnant, pregnant in the 18th chapter of Genesis, mm -hmm. they had given up. No, that's why Abraham went and made a mistake. Yes. 
God is our covenant keeper. I'm saying that favor is in the house. I'm not preaching on Mary, but what I'm preaching here, so it must be this house. Let me show you something. Go to Mike. Go to Let me get this here. Confirmation. Go to Ezekiel. I'll say this on my notes. I see the time. Go to Ezekiel chapter 12. Ay, ay, ay. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Ezekiel chapter 12. Let's look at 25. Quick, quickly. You can take your notes and read this entire text later on. Okay? Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 25. For I am the Lord, I will speak. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O oh rebellious host, will I say the word and will perform it, saith the Lord God. Again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they are the host of Israel, say, the vision that he see is for many days to come. And the prophesy of the times that is afar off. You understand what's going on here? The people get tired of Ezekiel prophecy and say, nothing that is happening. What you're talking about is, 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 is the future. All right. The verse says, Therefore say unto them, Just say the Lord God, There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, say the Lord God. Can I preach the text out? God said, I know you've been waiting for a long time. You've been struggling for a long time. But favor is in us. I will not prolong my word. I will not prolong my word any longer. Because favor! I know you've been waiting for a long time on my word. God says, I'm no longer prolonging my word in your life. You've been waiting for a long time. But God says, I will not prolong it any longer because I see you in Nazareth. You conduct yourself as a virgin. And you said to the angel, Thy word, according to thy word, be it unto me. Sometimes we make some incredible sacrifice to live for God. I come as a messenger today that God sees your sacrifice. And God said to tell you, church, that he will no longer prolong his word, but he will perform it in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Somebody says favor. Somebody shows favor. Favor. Yes. So the Mordecai. The Mordecai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's not be God for it. Yes. Don't leave the job, man. Talking about increase is coming. Talking about increase is coming. Well, they were pondering to get rid of you. Well, they were plotting to get rid of you. Because that's how the enemy works, you know, because you're carrying the Holy Ghost. Because you're shining light where you are. Wherever you go, there's light. They're behind the scenes. Planning or to get rid of you privately so you can't really file a lawsuit. Oh my goodness. They're trying to do it privately. So it would look so suspicious. Maybe 
things are slow, we're going to lay you off. But God showed up in a dream. Are you getting the message? To Joseph. I said, that thing that you're trying to do, to the woman of God, to the man of God, so don't do that, man. Because what she has inside there is keeping the job from not going on the top of the Hallelujah! Hallelujah! They're trying to get rid of you and hear what I'm preaching. Not realizing you are the one that's keeping the place alive. The Bible said that God prosper, prosper also. Oh, the time of Joseph. Yes. They don't realize that it's a blessing you have to hear. Deacon Bob, don't quit the job, sir. Naomi was looking at other fields. Oh, I said, don't look no further. Because I already tell the brethren not to mess with you. Oh, my God. Talking about faith. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. So when he sent to Esther, and remind her what she was there for, her purpose. Esther said, oh my goodness. If I perish, I perish. I perish. But I must see the king. She did not know that the king was going to push out the Oh, the golden sister. sister. She didn't know that. No, no. We know that. No, we know the story because we read it in the, in the scriptures. Right. She's thinking, "Oh, can I go to see this king?" And I'm not called. And I'm not called. Right. Amen. <laughs> As customary. Let me read some. <laughs> Thank you. So you understand why she's anointing. Yeah. But when the anointing is on your life, Amen. and God said, "I'm not going to prolong my words anymore." Whether you want to go in or not, right. I can't pretend to go in. You want to go and ask for a race and you didn't, you didn't lament it. Go and ask for a race. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. You are quiet at me. Oh my God. Hey. The Bible says, any man lack wisdom, let him ask. Amen. I'm saying, favor is in the house. The angel said to Mary, you have found favor. Mm -hmm. She did not know that she had favor unless the messenger went. So why? I came as a messenger. My name is Samuel. Mm -hmm. I came to this church as a messenger to let you know that favor is already allocated for you. God says, I'm not going to prolong this thing any longer. You've been waiting for a long time. He tells the reapers, one of God, to purposely leave, go for her, keep leaving. She think that is she is reaping, you know, or winning. She must be saying to herself, oh, everywhere I go, there's so much abundance here. She don't know that boss. She don't know that boss said, give her more. All you have to do in this season, one has. Amen. Because favor is already predestined for you. Amen. Amen. God could have gone anywhere in Bethlehem. He chose to go to Nazareth. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Second Chronicles 16 and 9 says the eyes of the Lord goes all over the earth. Looking to show himself strong on behalf of the person who is hard. He's towards it. I want to come in the right church. I'm saying favor is in the church. Amen. Favor for the children. I came as a messenger. Woman of God. That favor. Amen. I get the text, the title of the message I hear. Favor. What the angel said to Mary, he said, You are highly. Amen. Amen. And Mary says, Be after me. According, according to, to that word. word. If you know what 
Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you, Lord. We come in faith believing. We come trusting in your word. We come depending upon you. Lord, here is your servant who have just broken the break the bread of, of life. God, you have spoken through him to your people. And we thank you, oh God, for your words today. Lord, we are glad to know that we can find favor with you. Oh, mighty God in heaven, you made it possible, God, that we can find favor. And Father, we have your servants that just finished preaching. We pray that the anointing of God will be upon him. We pray in the name of Jesus that he will come at him under the blood. Strengthen him, Lord. Fill him up again, God, that he will have much, much more to give to your people. Father, we commit him totally into your hands right now. Undergird him with your strength in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Amen. Praise Thank God. You, you see, you. the Lord, the Lord never, oh God. Let's follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. He never leave this world without a witness. Praise God. And uh, that message, that message was a part of it was for evangelists. It is for, a part of it is for her. Is this for you too? Because she didn't let me know that she replaced just that open again and they begin to fight because she got a promotion. And um, she was about to walk. She was about to step away. So you see, listen, that was the message I was going to bring today. That was the message I was going to bring today. My message was more about strength. But when, when God speaks to you, you must know the voice of God when God is talking. Let us go into the community. Oh, 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 oh. 
Can you hear me? Okay. Bishop? Yes, I'm here. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Okay. Now the word of God has been read to us. How important it is to be in one place sharing the same thought. And as the message has gone forth telling us that this is how we can find favor with God. There's great favor in being called to the Lord's table. One of the greatest of favor that man can receive of God is to be called to the table of the king. The celebration here today is the Lord's Supper. And prior to his going to be with his father in glory so that he can plead in intercession for us, he set us an example how we can be with him. And it's, it's a special selected people who have called to be with him. A special selected people who have identified him as master, with whom he can find and show his favor. And his favor today is to present to us his body and his blood. And the samples that are before us today are just earthly human samples, but it represents the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And those who have found favor with Christ Jesus are called to this celebration. Here today, we're going to ask God to sanctify the symbol of body and blood that he has provided for us, and we're going to be partaking with him in fellowship. If the uh, communion table is not unfolded, you mean to do that now as we bless the bread and the wine. Heavenly Father, now God, we give you thanks for the body represented before us, a sample which God, once we bless it and set it apart and dedicate it, it will become automatically your own body. And this wine which is displayed symbolic of some juice or symbol there of God. We are lifting it up before you, asking you for your consecration. And we beg of you, Holy Spirit, that though we are separately and differently in different places, apart from each other, but the Lord our God is one Lord, yeah. one in hope and doctrine and one in charity. So as you bless the wine here, there, and the body here, there, and everywhere, we ask that it become now sanctified. And when your people will receive the favor of dining with you, amen, hallelujah, eating of your own body and of your own blood, being sanctified, being justified by our faith in Christ Jesus, that he died to give us favor and to pardon us from our sin and to give us power over evil forces here on earth. And this symbol too, you by your word declare that by your stripes we're healed. The symbol of the blood in these vessels of honor. We are such you're so sanctified God that anybody suffering from any ill condition, any uh, thing that, oh God, needs your healing touch. We beg of you, God, the blood of Jesus Christ will uh, be so evidently presented God to bring forth that healing and your body <coughs> which is the source of fellowship you shall ever be with us and once we lift this bread we know we are ever with you we can hold it in your hand and we can eat of it as we shall also drink of your blood the wine that is set before us therefore we ask for you to sanctify it and I beg of you, God, that our lives will be a reflection of our faith in God. Hallelujah. So that when we fellowship with you today, we will receive what your word has declared, the favor of God. May you, through the favor of God, cause our destruction to be moved away, our healing complaints to be moved away. And those who are on Zoom, God, fellowshiping with us and have any complaint of any kind, 
Today I beg that the evidence of our celebration of, of your favor with your church, with your people, will cause a wide source of blessing, deliverance, and healing, and most of all, praise to the Almighty God. Thank you for the favor you show and for the joy you bestow when we humbly bow at your feet with thanksgiving, lifting up this cup and breaking up this bread before you. And we tell you thanks. It's now sanctified for us to eat and drink in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. And in like manner, as the Bible says, it is sensible. It is sensible. What was he saying, Kai? which was crucified, dead, buried, and was resurrected for us. We eat in remembrance of his death. Let us all eat in peace. We lift our glasses together. This is a cup of the remembrance of the blood that was shed on Calvary for our sins. As we eat, drink of this sample of blood which has been blessed and has now become his own blood, we ask that we receive it in the name of the Father and of the Son and of him, the Holy Ghost, to the honor of Jesus Christ's death on Calvary. In Jesus' name, let us drink in peace. There is a fountain filled with love drawn from the garden and seen his blood beneath the blood who's all
And so we are just praying to God to help us so that this thing can pass. Praise God. Yeah. Where we can come back to normal. Praise God. Yes, amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. Can we all stand? Come next week. Prepare, prepare to hear the continuation of this great message. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. We are giving way to him to the preacher to continue this message. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come, we adore you. We honor you, God. We magnify you. We lift up your name, mighty Savior. We know that you are God of all gods. We know that you are the ruler of this world. Even when it seems, oh God, as if it is getting out of hand. But God, we know that you have everything in your control. Praise the name of Jesus. The devil, oh God, can run around and as he likes. But we know there is so much and so much he can do. Oh God, you have to permit him to do what he's doing. And so today, God, I pray that the eyes of your people who you have called, I pray, God, that their eyes will be open as to what is happening and they will hold on closer and stronger to you, mighty Savior. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will touch each and every one here today, those online and those that are even not online today, God, but they are members of this great house of God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will visit them. I pray that you will anoint them, O oh God. O oh God, I pray that the blood, O oh God, will be over them. Your post is eternal, Father God, so that if the enemy comes, God, the enemy will see the blood of Jesus. Praise the name of God. I pray today, mighty Savior, that as we go out as your people, eternal Father, we will go in grace, eternal God, bringing the word and the light of God to the world. Wherever we go, God, let your light, O oh God, shine upon us so that it can reflect from us, O oh God, unto others. Mighty Savior, have your sweet way today, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Praise God. And now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the full fellowship of the Holy Spirit and comfort them. May he rest, remain, and abide with us all until Jesus come. We say amen and amen. Praise the Lord.